Joining me now is the CEO Connected Development, Hamzat Lawal, for more on the Democracy Day celebration. Uh, how significant would you say this is for Nigeria? Uh, we're looking at 25 years of unbroken democratic rule. Well, thank you for having me. Happy Democracy in Nigeria. I think it's really exciting and it's historic because um, our fourth republic have continued to grow stronger where we're deepening democracy, strengthening institutions, but also allowing citizens to play their role in mass. Because the constitution the, says, we the people, section one of the constitution. So this is really significant, and I'm glad that we're celebrated as a people on a united front. Absolutely. I interesting uh, way to put it. But how well would you say we are fed when you consider 25 years? Uh, how would you rate us over 10 um, if you consider the democratic values that we're supposed to entrench? I will say 7 over 10 because, mind you, our democracy is still young. It's still emerging. It's still evolving. And it's ripe for the fact that people can contribute and play their goals. You see, there is no any country that would give you the opportunity that Nigeria gives. Nigeria's democracy is so young that it allows for people to play their role, to contribute their own quota to nation building and project Nigeria. So I would say seven over ten. And see, mind you, even if I want to even take it to 63 years of independence and tying the 10 years and then 20, you know, over 20 years. So we, we have a past mark, and I think we should pat our back, ourselves at the back. We've really done well. And the fact that, uh, you know, no one has interfered in our fourth republic and we continue to grow, and we continue to dialogue, speak to ourselves, and understand that even if we have some differences, these differences have actually united us to put a stronger front and continue to deepen that democratic journey. Hold that thought. We'll be back with more on this conversation right after this break. Stay with us, everyone. Every major news story is with Benny Perspective and layered with different levels of impact. Hello. What time did this happen? We will be right there. At TVC News, we follow the big and major news, gathering the facts, witnessing the outcome. I am here live at the aftermath of the approval of the new national minimum wage. We are TV station of the year, not just for breaking news, but for being first fair and accurate. TVC News, first with breaking news. Thanks for joining us again. It's the 25th year anniversary of Nigeria's unbroken democratic rule. And we're covering events lined up by the federal government to celebrate the day. Uh, we just got back from Eagle Square where we saw a colorful parade of cultural dances and other forms of entertainment, including the unveiling of the largest human portrait painted on canvas at, in honor of Mr. President. CEO Connected Development, Hamza Dawa, uh, is with us on the news this hour. I want to get your reaction very quickly to some of the highlights of Mr. President's speech earlier today. He did say that we have established a tradition of holding transparent, open, and fair election, which, according to him, gives some credence to our democratic bearing. And the fact that we've experienced peaceful transition of government affirms our democratic temperament. How well do you align with this thought, especially when you consider I the divided opinion as to um, the conduct of the last election? I totally agree with Mr. President, because um, if you go back memory lane, uh, let's go to 20, 2003 or 2007 or even 2011, where election results will be written even before people come out to cast their ballots. I think that we've had reform in the electoral process. Yes, we're not there yet, but I think that there are more opportunities to deepen reform as we go into 2027 election. And come to think of it, our elections are becoming more competitive, and that's the beauty of democracy and politics. And this is highlighted in the outcome of the 2023 general election. It means that you know citizens are aware, more aware, they're more informed, and they have opportunities to decide from different choices. So I agree with Mr. President. 
And the fact that, yes, power has been transferred, not from only one president to another, but from one political party to another. So it tells you that Nigeria has truly embraced democracy. And we will continue to debate, to reform, and to play our role as activists, civil society, as government, and as the Nigerian people. What has to be done differently, you know, under this administration, if we still refer to 1993 election as the freest and fairest? Is that not an indictment, so to speak, on how well our electoral reforms have evolved over the years? No, you see, even the world itself has evolved with in the introduction of technology and also with mischief makers leveraging on artificial intelligence, misinformation and disinformation. I think also it creates an opportunity, it creates a value where we can play a role or where we can strengthen uh, legal and regulatory framework, where we can approach the National Assembly, work with the executive, work with the media and civil society. And I like the fact that Mr. President actually highlighted the role of the media. So we need an independent media, a very strong media that holds government to account, but most importantly, educate the populace, sensitize the populace so that they can be well informed to make decisions that affect us today and also takes us into the future of prosperity. The DSS released a statement yesterday about, um, you know, some unscrupulous element who are planning to uh, come up with protests to um, you know, one way or the other, complicate things on Democracy Day. Mr. President also uh, did talk about the fact that some Nigerians would want to take advantage of our current realities and current challenges to truncate what we currently have. How do you think Nigerians uh, are required to marry both the economic challenges, which is as a result of the reforms Mr. President has put in place, and the need to also protect our democracy? I think that um, we need to be patient. Nigerians are resilient people. Yes, we're currently experiencing a turmoil, but I think that we'll, we'll get out of it because uh, I, I believe Mr. President has the capacity and has the best intentions and interests for Nigerian people. But I also think that uh, in a... Hamza Lawar is CEO yes. Connected yes. Development. We lost it for a beat. You can go ahead now. We'll get back to Mr. Lawal in the course of this bulletin or subsequently as we continue to cover updates with the uh, ongoing celebration of Nigeria's 25th year anniversary of democratic rule. Mr. Lawal, if you are there, please go ahead with your thought. All right, um, moving on now, as Nigeria celebrates the 31st anniversary of June 12 and its struggles, activists have stressed the need for